Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first video. My name is Jordan. I live with two beautiful Kane Corsos. And what better video to do than a puppy essential video because my one Kane Corso I just got, he is nine weeks old, and I figured to document their lives together and what essentials did I get from my puppy. If you guys are planning to get a new puppy or just got a new puppy and you don't really know what to get, or maybe you're new to the Kane Corso breed, um, this video is for you, so stay tuned. The first thing I'm gonna go is the actual essential essentials, and then we're gonna go into like the fun toys and treats. So obviously, the first thing you're gonna wanna get is a dog bowl. This one's wet because I just washed it. Um, I just got this one because it, I wanted to be able to differentiate the two bowls between the two dogs. Any bowl will do. Um, you're going to want to get a leash. doesn't matter. This one's old and worn out between all the dogs. I have other ones. This is just the main one that I like to use for now. But the more important thing is the poop bag that I have attached to it. You always want to carry this with you because dogs, they seem to poop when you want them to poop the least. Like, I don't know, they have their way of knowing that you don't want them to poop, so they poop. These bags are biodegradable. They're by the brand Earth Rated. By the way, nothing in this video is sponsored. They're just brands that I like to use, toys I like to use, etc. So keep that in mind. This recently showed up at Target. So I was really happy because I was going to buy these on Amazon. And right now with COVID-19, Amazon is not shipping um, anything but groceries and medical supplies. So I found these at Target. It's a little chewed up, but a leash ooh, and a poop bag. Along with that, I don't have one to show you because my dog is wearing it, but a collar. You want to put a collar on them, especially a puppy. You want to get them used to having something around their neck. Now it's up to you if you want to leave that on them 24 seven, or if you want to take it off while they're in the house, but get them used to wearing collars. So that way when they have to wear one, they're fine with it. I always like to recommend uh, like multivitamin, especially for feeding kibble. I just use the NuVet Plus one. You, I'm pretty sure you need a code to buy this, but there are so many different brands out there and this is just the one that I get. This one's actually almost out, but I do have another one. And this brand also has Joint, Hip and Joint Plus that I also have for my dogs, which is all the way out there, which I'm not grabbing. But for big breeds, that's awesome. We're gonna go ahead and get into some treats. You wanna get your essential biscuits and treats and stuff like that, but some of the things that I buy for my dogs, I'm just gonna show you. For training, I get the Natural Balance Mini Rewards. It's just, it looks like a um, season shaker. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It looks like that. This one's a chicken formula. My dogs, they're not allergic to chicken, so they can have this, but if your dog's allergic to chicken, I'm 99% sure that they have salmon so if your dog can have salmon you can still get these these are amazing i'll show you one that's what it looks like it's just a little bone um, my dogs love them even my picky dog he loves them so that's always a plus for me my little puppy goes nuts for these grain free these are also grain free um, you really want to make sure that that's something that you take into consideration when you're buying treats. You want them to be grain-free. But these are duck and pumpkin soft-baked grain-free naturals. For the puppy, I will break them in half. They look tiny, but I still break them in half um, when training him. And he's learned so well with these. One day's time span, he has mastered sit, stay, lay down, and pull. And I'm really proud to say that. I'm putting my everything into my dog, so I am proud. Next thing I really like to get them is the pressed turkey tendon bone. It's rawhide free. It looks like that. They have bigger ones too, but I got the small ones because for the puppy, like, it's better for him. Um, this came with four and there's one left, but I did split them up between the two dogs. Do not buy your dog rawhide it's really bad for them do your research about it i'm not a veterinarian i have never studied medicine anything like that but do not give your dog rawhide it's super bad for them 
I spoke to someone who gave their dog rawhide, I think it was a nine month old puppy, don't quote me, and they choked and unfortunately passed away from it. It's super bad for them, they're not really able to digest it properly. Um, these are rawhide free, they love them. They're supposed to be long lasting, but with my big dog, they're really not, because he can get through them really quickly. He's, he's seven months old, but he's 100 pounds. My favorite thing to buy my dog, the Three Dog Bakery Original Cookies with Carob Flavored Chips. I'm personally allergic to peanut butter, but if you're not, they have a whole line of treats, the things you can get for your dog, like Oreo looking cookies and pretzel peanut butter. Everything else has peanut butter in it, but these this is the only thing I can get for my dogs. So if you are allergic, you can buy these. I buy these like three packs at a time. They love them. They look exactly like chocolate chip cookies so we always have to keep cookies for the dogs my favorite thing now more on to the fun stuff the toys your puppy needs toys i recommend keeping them in a basket i keep mine like in here it's just how i do it so one of the first things that i got for him was these keys they're like bacon flavored they smell like bacon so like entices them to chew on it it's probably a mistake for me to get these because my son likes playing with these too because they are keys. But yeah, I thought they were like super cool. So I just got them something for them to chew on. He has these pancakes. Um, they came on a rope toy, but my seven month old puppy Kato destroyed the rope toy. Well, now we just have these pancakes. There's a couple more of them. There's two more, but they really like them. Both of the dogs like them. So I kept them until they get ripped. Like this one's starting to rip. The puppy's favorite toy right now is this little elephant. Um, I got him for like $5. And he squeaks, but just figure like a little stuffed elephant for him. Be cute. Cause he is a puppy. Um, I got him a rope toy. Just looks like this. I got it cause it has like a bone on there too. Um, you can see that they're kind of like putting dents into it right there. But I got it the bone and then the, t the rope toy at the same time. And it's nice and small for him. Yeah, and I like the colors of it. So that's why I bought it. The other thing I got, just because I thought it was cute, is this chameleon. And it sounds like country and it has this squeaker in it also. Um, I just like getting a variety of toys because you don't really necessarily know what your dog is going to like when you first get them. So buying a variety of toys is often the best way to go. And then from there on out, you can buy what your dog likes best. So if your dog likes hard plastic, get toys that are hard plastic. If your dog likes stuffed animals, get things like these or ropes, etc. You will know. The last things that I have for toys are the Kong brand. That's honestly my favorite brand um, to buy for toys, collars, anything. Even my older dog's crate is Kong and he has a Kong in there, but you can tell they've gotten to it. But if your dog likes hard plastic, I recommend getting a Kong Wobbler. It's the same concept as the regular Kong, except it comes out of here and it wobbles um, and it's that nice hard plastic that they can sink their teeth into. So if uh, your dog prefers hard plastic, this is a great option for you. I do have a regular Kong and I have a bigger one for my bigger dog somewhere. But it just looks like that. And then again, I am allergic to peanut butter. So I will put like um, berries or like little treats in there. And then I will cap it off with cheese. And I will put it in the freezer for a little bit and then give it to them and... Perfect for crate training. Another Kong, it's a little binky. This one I do not plan on stuffing at all because he's entirely too big for it. Like his mouth is not that little. But I just thought it was super cute since he's a puppy and he's a baby. It's a blue little binky and I thought it was cute and he loves chewing on it, especially like the ring part up here. So yeah, that's pretty much all the toys that I have for them. And then the puppy's crate is right there. As you can see it, it's a small crate you should look into getting one of these. I'm not gonna say you have to, but you should crate train your dog. Disclaimer, do not use the crate as a punishment source. That's not how crate training goes. 
that's a whole other video. But I do recommend getting a crate because they should be crate trained and it helps with a lot of things. If they need to be put into a crate to go somewhere, it helps with separation anxiety, things like that. They like to um, go into the crate as like a safe spot. But the important thing here is to not get your dog a huge crate to start off. It's not good to like put them in a huge crate. So you can either get a small crate like we did or um, get a crate divider and slowly move it back as the dog grows. Um, I do put blankets and toys in there, but the blanket is currently being washed just to keep it clean and sanitary for the dog. Yeah, make sure you find a reputable vet in your area. Um, that's and a very essential thing for a puppy. They need to be caught up on their shots and their heartworm medication and things like that. You can look up dog parks in your area. Um, I have one like 20 minutes from my house that I'll go to sometimes. It's great social socialization for your dog. I know in times of COVID-19, if you're watching this present time, that might not be accessible to you. But if you're watching this in the future, hello. Yeah, that would be a great option to socialize your puppy. Again, not the best time right now. Uh, taking your dog, dog to the pet store, taking them out to friends and family's houses, really get them socialized. It's really, really, really important, especially if you have a cunning horse like I do. There's other ways to get them to be socialized. If you are watching this present time and you're thinking of a way to socialize your dog, my best bet is to Put on sounds on the TV or YouTube, if you can get YouTube on your TV, of traffic and noise and people and things like that so they're used to it secondhand. It's even better if you can get them to like sit and watch at the TV. My little puppy wouldn't do that, he's too active, but he would take it in. Use the vacuum, vacuum your house often if you have kids, don't uh, stop them from being loud near the puppy, you want them to be used to um sounds and things like that so they're not scared of it yeah i think that's pretty much all i didn't show a water bowl but i have a four gallon water jug outside for them obviously that's an essential but yeah i will show you my dogs um, the blue brindle is my nine week old Kane corso cucholo the fawn is kato he's my seven month old Kane corso they are play fighting right now. Don't worry. Kato will not hurt the puppy. Trust me, if he wanted to, he could kill him. But he's not going to. But yeah, these are my dogs. Uh, let me know what videos you want to see in the comments. Uh, whether that be how I feed my dogs. How I train my dogs. Um, if you have any questions about puppies or anything like that. You want to see a video on it. I could do a Q&A. Please let me know what you guys want to see. And I will surely do it for you guys. Thank you for watching and until next time.